Hey yo people, what's up? I believe you people are doing good and welcome back to another video in Red Dead Redemption 2 and today I'm going to make a video on how can you get a perfect pelt in Red Dead Redemption 2. I know it might be quite late to make a video on this but there are still many people who still love this game and joining the game right now in 2022 and they are pretty new to the game and they need to know how they should approach while hunting right so well yeah we all know that it's quite tough to get hands on perfect pelts in red dead redemption 2 but in this guide i will show you how to get an ideal animal pelt also hunting in dead dead redemption isn't only meant for pelt but it can also help you with meat of different types which can help you cook provisions for yourself and this can be really helpful to know because even in your red dead online venture it is quite the same like you 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 have to purchase provisions and the provisions are quite expensive in red dead online so in that way if you learn how to hunt it properly you will definitely be able to benefit it from both ways a perfect pelt will give you some amount to earn while you sell it and at the side Obviously, when you hunt, you will get some meat out of it, which you can definitely cook it. So, without further delay, as we already have said that if you are new, if you are completely new to this game, either in story or online, and if you are starting it too late, this guide is definitely going to help you. So, a pelt in Red Dead Redemption is basically the hair and skin removed from an animal after you have hunted and killed it. Okay? The animal pelt is the price reward that we get from hunting in Red Dead Redemption 2. But obviously, there are certain ways that we need to follow to make sure we don't end up losing the best quality pelt, right? Which was easily possible for us to get it. So, if you don't know what you are doing when hunting animals, you can end up with poor quality pelts, which means you might mess up with your rewards, right? So there is a star level of an animal to take into account which means that only three star animals will give us a perfect pelt. So in order to get a perfect pelt in Red Dead Redemption 2, first thing you need to set is set your sight on an animal, any specific animal which you see it or a group of animals. The easiest way to do is equip your binoc binoculars from the item wheel and use them to focus on the desired animal. While focusing on an animal, if you are playing it on PC, you need to press Q. It will allow you to study the animal. Once you have studied the animal, an indicator will pop up, rating the pelt of an animal out of 3 stars. 1 star obviously means the worst, while 3 star means the pelt is perfect. So, it's the 3 stars animals that you want to focus on if your aim is to get perfect pelts. Now, you can also open the compendium from the menu pause men, uh, from the pause menu select the listing of the animal that just generated three star rating and the compendium entry will tell you which weapon you should use to kill the animal if you want to keep the three star belt intact right using a powerful weapon in this situation can damage the belt so you must pay attention to which is the right weapon here necessary while hunting so to make it easier, here are the perfect weapons that should be used for perfect pelts. Remember that even the idle weapon equipped for the hunting, you need to make sure that you only take a one shot kill because shooting more than once can spoil your pelt. So therefore because no matter which weapon the compendium tells you to use, taking more than one shot will affect the quality. Remember that. So make sure you take a single shot at the vitals of an animal using the dead eye which will help you in keeping the perfect the, the, the pelt perfect and intact okay in case if you are approaching an animal which you have not unlocked in compendium here are the lists that you should be using when hunting a specific animal with the aim of earning a perfect pelt so here are the list of weapons that you should be using for this list of animals in the game and these are the most major animals that you would be hunting to gather all the uh, required materials from these animals alligator american alligator you will be using a rifle and for poghorn buck 
the common ri- uh, weapon is your rifle and bows with arrows normal bows with arrows but you need to make sure that you have a clean shot with one single shot okay so pork on buck it is also the same for this uh, animal and for this doe as well it is the same right and here you have another uh, sonoran pork on buck it is the same for this as well and you must make sure that you always do a single shot and for a chicken normally you are supposed to use a small game arrow for this chicken right and you would find two types of actually more than two in the game a variety of chickens and as i was saying you are always supposed to use one single shot and for cougars it is suggested as for a bow with his a uh, poison arrow or you can use a rifle as well like if you take a clean shot not on a body on the head you would get a perfect kill that's usually what i have been doing for cougar and for coyote you are supposed to use a repeater with single shot okay and that makes you the best clean shot also a bow can be recommended here to kill a coyote heard you would be needing to kill this devian ox and for that you can use long scope rifle to get a clean shot and again for this american prog on doe it is the same the rifle and the bow with arrows so that's the simplest way to kill this animal with a perfect shot and another comes your elk so this animals are quite tough so in order to pierce their uh, bodies you need improved long range bow and uh, rifle is also helpful here as well for this animal moving ahead we have fox so in order to get a perfect pelt while hunting a fox you can use a repeater or a bow with arrow and the upcoming animal is your desert gila monster that you can find around tumbleweed so here this is the animal a lizard actually and you can hunt it with your varmint rifle make sure you do only a, only a single shot cause no matter what the rifle is suggested if you shoot more than once it will destroy the pelt that's what we can say coming up ahead alpine goat so this alpine goat can be easily found around the uh, ranches so it is the best weapon is suggested repeater and the best another trick to kill an animal perfectly small and medium size animals that is lassoing them and then killing them with your knife but if you randomly swing your knife to the animal it will not result into a perfect pelt so next comes your duck or you can say goose this is a goose by the way and same again you are supposed to use a varmint rifle for actually small birds and small animals it's quite common that you are supposed to use varmint here comes another animal that is grizzly for a grizzly you are supposed to use high velocity round or express bullets with a rifle okay and it's quite handy to kill it in one shot also uh, selling a bear pelt can give you a good amount of earnings in story mode as well and in the online mode as well and once you have unlocked the trade role in online that can come quite handy another one as your gull here comes with uh, your bow or a small game arrows for this particular bird right so it has three different types of variants here in the game in the compendium so you will you will find many animals with a similar gene and here comes a hawk which will be commonly seen around a tumbleweed red-tailed hawk actually so it can be killed with your varmint rifle make sure only two single shot so this all animals can be found in online mode as well and if once you learn through how to hunt them properly in your online mode you can easily rank up your trader role and this is for those who are completely new in the game because you might not be familiar with the rules available in the game so here we have the heron tricolored so weapon considered for a clean kill that is again varmint rifle right and uh, as i was saying that there is a different role in the online which uh, you need to rank up once you are in the online mode and started playing so basically hunting tips is only for that because in story mode you can easily get yourself up with good money so here you can check out on the screen what does it says it's a small you require small game and bow for to kill this loon okay so the next animal is moose you can find this animals pretty easily around the mountain areas in the map so they can be quite helpful with the pelt right so the easiest way to kill them is your scoped rifle long scope rifle easily which can be helpful cause you need to keep a distance from those animals they might get spooked easily when you get too close and for this pigs all spot pigs you can use a repeater with arrows or a uh, repeater or an arrow and it can be pretty much commonly found around the town ranches x comes your 
black-tailed jackrabbit. This can be easily killed with the help of a vermin rifle. For this, small animals, raccoon, I would say, depending on their size and environment, using the vermin rifle comes handy. For bighorn ram, it is again bow or the poison arrows. So for a snake, it would be your small game arrows or you ideally should be using small game arrows for this uh, snake. And there are many types of snakes, by the way. In the, here in the screen, you might be able to see that it's around a couple of around seven types of snakes in a game and it can be found in almost every region of the map unlike where livelihood of the people is too much you wouldn't be finding the reptiles there and uh, beside that i have never been very fond of hunting down snakes because it's too small to craft them and here is a snapping turtle so snapping turtle can be found around lagras and lamoy easily and you can kill it with a small game arrow or normally a usual arrow but you make sure you take a clean shot these animals are quite slow you can easily take hunt them down and here it is the uh, songbird to kill the songbird you can use small game arrows again it has quite multiple types of uh, you know variants you can get it done with your small game arrow for the same apart from that you have black squirrel so once you have a commonality for a particular animal uh, you can actually have the same type of weapons and uh, mechanisms to kill it with this other variant as well so you you will need small game arrows for this squirrel as well and moving up ahead we have our turkey wild turkey so for this bird we actually need a vermin rifle using vermin rifle you can get the best kill for this particular bird and it will give a plump meat actually which can be very much helpful for you to cook your provisions and also you can use the feather to craft your arrows next comes as your wild boar so for this particular animal i usually prefer using the rifle and it is the recommended weapon you can use in this game to kill so next we have the gray wolves to kill gray wolves you simply need the similar kind of weapons which we have almost seen in other animals as well which is commonly the rifle and the bow however here the only change is that in the bow you need to either have a poisoned arrow which is the best or if you have even a normal bow you can actually uh, shoot it in the head and get a perfect kill and uh, suggestively certain wolves will have a certain different weapon slightly different from the primary one however the best weapon remains same which is considered the rifle so with this i conclude my basic tutorial for the hunting hunting perfect pelts in Red Dead Redemption 2 or online because it is almost the same everything remains the same certain things only changes within the online and in the story mode and if you are new to this channel new to this game and haven't ever gone through the story mode or the online mode however you are planning to join the game make sure you like this video as this might be helpful in your hunting journal in the game and if you have liked this video and watched till here make sure you like it subscribe to the channel and join the family right and somebody might think that why am i making this videos now when this game has already gone out of out of the market or people might soon going to desert it well it doesn't matter right because there is still those people going to come who have never played this game and and might have heard from people have seen in the internet and still wants to play it so it's for them it's for even those who still love the game and have some affection with the content of the game because no matter how much we say how much we talk even any upcoming game is not going to be anywhere close to the details of red dead redemption 2 quite that very soon obviously like the amount of effort i have uh, put into this video while making it do leave a like and support my channel by subscribing to it and if you have already subscribed to it please do watch this video entirely and make sure you do not skip the ad while you see in this channel because it is going to help me in any way very minusculely but it is definitely going to help me and by this means thank you for watching till here stay connected to the channel there will be more videos like this one have a good day bye bye thanks for watching Boy.